for I'd like to call to order our special meeting uh, this evening for the Montgomery County Legislature on November 14th, uh, 2017, and let the record show it's 6 p.m. Uh, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Chairman Dyman. Present. Legislator Headwell. Present. Legislator Wilson. Present. Legislator Duchesne. Present. Legislator Peck. Present. Legislator Isabel. Present. Legislator Pertel. Present. Legislator Kelly. Present. Legislator Sweet. Present. If we could all rise to salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, the statement of the purpose of the meeting uh, tonight is to pass a resolution so that uh, we can do some uh, removal from the uh, pro uh, exit 29 uh, project and uh, we can go right to the resolution uh, it's resolution 246 of 2017 resolution authorizing the montgomery county executive uh, to enter into administrative settlement agreement in order on consent for a removal action with the environmental protection agency Looking for a sponsor and a second. Legislator Pep, Legislator Wilson. Discussion. Yeah. Legislator Pertel. I, I guess I'm confused with the sense of urgency was that we had to have a special meeting and we come here in two weeks and done this. Well, the sense of urgency is that um, there's been a lot of effort put into the project and we're interested in keeping this project moving along as fast as possible. Um, Executive Ossenfort. Yeah, and also we have RFP to work, um, and, and we want to make sure we do not have the RFP again, and there are some details related to the order, the execution of the order, how long that would take uh, to make sure that the RFP responses are still viable. So it was, in, in every sense of the word, access in the manner, and maybe we could probably talk a little bit more detail if you'd like. Yeah. But yeah, it was, so we were even looking maybe Thursday of last week, but I'm not looking to cause trouble just asking. I mean, it's so we are we we put the RFPs out for this we started the process on this back in August um, had the RFPs issued in September they were advertised for about a three-week period got the responses throughout this whole time we were negotiating <coughs> the 106 order with the EPA but that didn't get finalized until recently like Wednesday last week the 106 order so in the meantime as uh, all this time has elapsed we've had the RFPs out the RFP timeline as starts um, immediately in order to get this stuff off the property before winter so um, before we can continue work under the RFPs we need to make sure the 106 order is in place and signed um, so in <coughs> advance so this has to happen before work can start so the RFP has already been sent out and responded to? Yes, the IDA did the RFP. Um, did the RFP, got the responses, had a engineer consultant review the responses, um, make a recommendation to the IDA board on the boarding. So will that come before us or just the IDA? Just the IDA, because the IDA is who's going to be doing the work with the grant that was secured. So it's going to be no county funds. <laughs> Any further discussion? Um, then I would assure you that I wouldn't call a special meeting as uh, chairman unless it was absolutely necessary. It wasn't, it wasn't intended to be. Just wanted to let you know. <laughs> uh, before we vote, I would just like to thank our county executive and county attorney for, and their team for the hard work uh, that they've done on this project and it's. Uh, amazing how fast it's moving along and that we're at this point already so uh, congrats to you, you you both and your team uh, any further discussion hearing none all those in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. opposed abstention yes anything further hearing none uh, looking for a motion to adjourn Legis legislator Patel, legislator Kelly 
All in favor say aye. 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 We're adjourned at 6.05.